welcome back in this video we will be, be exploring the table component from end design if you have not seen the video on integration of the end design i have added the link in the i icon and in the description below please have a look so let's get started from integration of the table component so it is auto import to the table so let's save and it will show an empty table and there are two major props of the table one is the data source which gives the data uh, which will be populated and then the other one is the columns to show how many columns we want to show so that the data will be mapped on those columns let's uh, so let's create the data source now counts data yes. it will be an array of objects so suppose we want to show the data of the user so in the user that will that will have a name you can say name one and it will have an age so you can see 10 and then address address one and there will be a, a unique key suppose you can say one and let's duplicate this one to at least three for three rows name one and it will be name two name two name three name three and key will be three and here key will be two suppose the age is 20 and then age is 30 so 1 2 and 3 good and here we will be passing this data and let's 12 the columns so it is showing that it has only less than 10 rows so one by default it shows 10 rows in one page uh, so this pagination is built in in the uh, table component from end design and we can customize it by using the pagination prop all right so let's build the columns and we will be showing at least let's say three columns for now title so that will be the title shown on the column name and in this column what uh, the data will be shown that will come in from data index so the data index will be the name key and the key is the, the key okay so let's copy this one three times first column name is name and second one is age and the, the data resides in the age key and then address and the data resides in the address so, and pass the columns here and here you go the name column and its values age address that is the default rendering uh, uh, provided by the end design so if we want to customize this one we can customize each and every row each, even the header the footer and the pagination so suppose let's uh, we want to customize the name so that uh, it is clickable and when we click on it it suppose goes to a profile page of that user so for that in the columns there is a method render so it will be pass the name and we have to return the component we which we want to be rendered instead of this name so suppose we want to be rendered this name here here you go now it looks like it is clickable and we can suppose add the own click here and 
we can write the logic to navigate to, to other pages and something like that all right and also we can add more columns if needed and even though the data is only available for three keys so let's add another column suppose uh, we want to add a column name against users you can say graduated and do not need data index because data is not available for this one and we will be doing a custom friending here and payload it will be pass, uh, passing the payload and from the whole payload available in, in each row and in the payload we can oh, sorry there is comma missing here right we can return can say okay a p tag maybe and in the p tag we can say the payload dot age if the age is greater than 20 we can say oh, sorry it's greater than 20 we can say that user age user age is graduated otherwise it is not we can add you can add any logic here and you can return any component here let's add it's compiling row oh. so the graduated column is passed is shown and when the age is greater than 20 it will show that it is user graduated otherwise it is not graduated <laughs> okay and other thing we can add filters on here and also we can add expand and collapse rows if the number of columns are larger and does not fit into the available space also you can add the sorting on each column so let's add a sorting on the age column so to add the sorting we need to add a key sorter and it will pass two values for against rows so we need to return which one is greater it uh, sorry a dot h and p dot h after adding this key it has added the sorting options and on click of the sorting so it is sorting 30 on the top and then 30 on the bottom so that's it regarding exploring table if you are if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below or you can directly go to the and design table documentation so there are pretty much too many options available uh, so if you we cover it in single video that will be very long so i think that's enough for to start on using the tables on the end design in the next video we will pick another topic so stay tuned see you there thank you